Hello, every pony, and welcome to Facebook Friday and the Talking Brony presents What in the Buck, Episode 1 for the 12th of January 2018, where we count down some of the top 13 what the F moments found on the internet in no particular order. Starting with number 13, we have Idiot Mother Can't Even Count a Potato. So, did we have a Oh my god, this is just too... Okay. Yeah, it says, Stop weed smoking at Concerned Mom 420. Why is there... Uh, why she has 420? Anyway, she said, The devil has five letters, so does weed. If you don't think weed is the devil, you need Jesus. Um... Right, you can't even count to five. Um, devil definitely has five letters. Jesus has five letters. Weed. Let's see how many letters weed has. W, one, E, two, E, three, E, D, four. Oh, it only has four letters. Mm, you need to rethink some few stuff. All right. Let's go on to number 12. This is why you always need to double check your recipient. And it's a text. Hey, babe, just dropped a bitch off at work. Can't wait to see you. And, oh, man. Hey, honey, you just dropped me off at work. Oh. Sorry, wrong person. Wait, what? Uh... I gotta go. I'm meeting someone. What the? We are done. I am leaving work. Throwing your stuff out and changing the locks. I never want to see you again, you cheating bastard. I don't think there's much else to say other than if you're going to cheat on your wife, make sure you double check your recipient and not be a dumbass. Alright, let's go to number 11 for, uh, what did I read? All right. So this is a girl named Kia Banks at Damn It's Kia. And this is what she texted or tweeted. Told my cousin he got me pregnant as an April Fool's, fool's joke. He was scared of <laughs> LMAO. And this called at Devo Dropped tweeted at Damn It's Kia. Why was he scared? And there's a photo of her looking at, or looking at, like, uh, what have you been doing with your cousin? Said, yeah, that, that's pretty much my face as well. Um, what are you doing with your cousin? Like, either your cousin is an idiot or he's something else. Oh, my lord. There's just so much wrong with that. Let's just move on to number 10. And this is why we need hashtag grammar school for adults. There, there, there. You're in college. Get it right. <laughs> and take a look what Lawrence said. You're and you're. You're in college. Get that right. Paul says pawnage. Eric says LOL. Gerald says come on, Alex. I really hope you did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, man. The irony is strong with this one. Uh, let's just move on to Numero Nueve. <clears throat> now we have a tweet from Yaslin Bay at y Lot Lottie's Love. I don't know. She tweeted... Halloween falls on Friday the 13th this year for the first time in 666 years. I'm totally stabbing someone. Uh, okay, so where the buck do we begin? Alright, so Halloween falls on Friday the 13th. Um, no, that is not correct. As history has been proven Halloween has always fallen on the last day of October which is the 31st every single year it's always been that way because Halloween stands for All Hallows Eve 
which follows All Saints Day on November the 1st. You dummy. You really dumb woman. Also, for the first time in 666 years, how do you even know that? Are you implying that somehow 666 years ago that the October ended on the 13th and Halloween just moved there by default? Also, I'm totally stabbing someone. What is wrong with you? You... You are the one that needs Jesus, or Buddha, or Muhammad, or you need some sort of deity in your life to fix yourself. Oh, my Lord. All right, coming in at number eight. When referencing a South Park quote gets you fired. So we have a fireman named Matt Bowen at Hero Matt quoting a South Park reference. Actually, I'm going to let... Eric Cartman take over this one. I would never let a woman kick my ass. If she tried anything, I'd be like, hey, you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. Yeah. You could tell easily, if anybody has never been a fan of South Park, they can easily take this out of context, and it's not going to go down as well for you. Oh, boy. Yeah, by the way, this is the tweet that got this guy fired from his fireman job. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to let that sink in and let the pun work itself out. In the meantime, number seven, we have, wonder if the cops really do spy on citizens. All right, so we have this mommy. What? And then the mom texted, you are the big, you are in biggest trouble you've ever been in. Just tell me. Not over text. Why? Because I said so. Because you found the bodies in the basement. The mom's just like, what are you talking about? Nothing at all. Uh, yeah. My face is saying it all. It's pretty much speaking on behalf of everybody in sight. What the... <laughs> What is going on in that house? We'll just leave that alone as we move on to number six. What every pony will need in the near future, and it's a medical bracelet stating, delete my browser history. Yeah, everybody's going to need that in the near future. Number five. No cooler, no problem. <laughs> All right. Well, at least someone's being innovative. Uh, they just dumped a bunch of ice in a uh, what looks to be a washing machine for laundry and stuck a bunch of Corona lights in there. And best part about it, if you run out of beer and the party's over, you don't have to dump the ice out, just let it drain. That's pretty innovative stuff right there. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number four. Do you use spell check much? So this is a um, Kroger gas pump somewhere in Texas or Ohio or wh wherever has the Kroger gas pumps and it says receipt printer is not working sorry for any incontinence right if anything we feel sorry for you because you who can't do spell check much either that or you are legitimately having problems going to the bathroom Hoo hoo hoo, man. Uh, yeah. This does explain why there's a puddle of piss in front of the gas station pump, doesn't it? Let's just move on to number three. Uh, okay, what are y'all kids doing in China? So this is a Chinese uh, toy packaging, obviously made in China. Uh, what we have here in the packaging, um... Yeah, there's a lighter, three dice to shoot craps with, and a pipe for tobacco or marijuana. This looks, yeah, this definitely looks like a kid's toy. What in the hell are you teaching the kids about? Why is this marketable? This better be some sort of joke, man. This, this, just, this just ain't right. China, you need to get yourself together with your kids, man. Uh, let's go to number two. Pizza and porn, a classic combo since the 70s. And if you take a look at the spacing between 
the D in inner, you'll see why. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, that text on the bottom said, pretty much says it all. You had one job, and I did have the big dinner box, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good for $19.99. But I'm not sure if Pizza Hut really does have the big D in her box. You're just going to have to say it multiple times, super fast to get that reference. And finally, the number one, well, not really number one, since it's in no particular order, but it's not just one. Let's just take a look. I couldn't decide which one to feature, so let's do a two-for-one special. All right, let's take a look at the first one. That says Smith Mark. All right. I'm pregnant. OMG! Really? I am so happy! I've been waiting for this to be a dead for a while! I'm so happy! Yeah, I'm pretty scared! How am I gonna tell my husband? Peter, please advise me on what to do! Uh... Bitch, what the f This is Mark! Your husband- You have been My brother?! Oh <laughs> man! Yeah... This- I have a feeling... Uh, the next Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever family gathering is going to be a little bit awkward now. Oh, man. I feel sorry for Mark, man. Mark, you got my sympathy. All right, so to the next one. Look, honey, uh, I still love you, but I don't think it, this is working anymore. Oh, my God. I... Are you breaking up with me? After two years, you're breaking up with me. Over a f text. Over a f text. Because it's not working. What the? F oh. <laughs> sorry. 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 Oh. I said this to the wrong person. Oh. Oh. Thank God. You. You scared me, babe. A. Wait, what? Wait, who are you going to say this to? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Like I said earlier in this video, you need to double check who your recipient is. Because that is just, oh my lord, lord, lord almighty. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much the end of our video. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. I do have a Twitter, at the Talking Brony. I am, once again, the Talking Brony. And I will see y'all next time on What the Buck.